Now, let's talk about wants versus needs. Believe it or not, there is a way to differentiate between your wants and needs, and I'm going to show you how. It's crucial to have a clear understanding of your wants and needs. Let's craft that wish list. Start by defining your needs. You can download this checklist to make it easier for you. First things first, start by listing your non-negotiable, the essentials that your future home must have. These are your needs. Think about the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and specific requirements, like a home office or a backyard for your future friends. Next, prioritize your wants. Now, let's talk about wants. There are features that would be nice to have, but aren't deal breakers. It might be that dreamy kitchen island, a fireplace, or a walk-in closet. Prioritize your wants to distinguish between the nice-to-haves and the must-haves. Make sure you do this all while considering your lifestyle. Your lifestyle plays a significant role in shaping your wants and needs. Are you an avid cook with a dream of a gourmet kitchen? Or perhaps you're a work-from-home enthusiast in need of a dedicated office space. Tailor your list to align with your daily life. Next, think ahead. Are you planning to expand your family? Do you foresee changes in your career that might impact your commute? Anticipate future needs and ensure that your home can adapt to the evolving chapters of your life. Lastly, set a realistic budget boundaries. Your wants and needs should harmonize with your budget. Be realistic about what you can afford and let your list reflect those financial boundaries. This ensures that you're not only falling in love with the home, but also with a price tag that aligns with your financial goals. Until next time, see you in the next video.